When most people envision the country of Greece, they think about the island of Santorini. And with blue domed, whitewashed, cycladic buildings covering the mountaintops, it makes sense why so many people choose to come here for their engagement, their wedding, and their honeymoon. And so today we're going to go and explore this romantic island and see what all we can do in one day's time. Seeming that we are on an island, there are many different beaches to choose from, but I've chosen a very special black sand beach that we went to a couple years ago to start off our day. One of the best ways to see the islands here in Greece is to rent a car or a moped or some sort of transportation because you can really go anywhere you want, anytime you want. This time we decided to go with an automatic versus a manual stick shift car because I was struggling last time. Oh. <laughs> so close. I did learn a few tricks that will help me next time I drive manual, but for this trip, keep it low stress or <laughs> we went with automatic. I actually need Chad to go and get me some water to mist it because it brightens the colors. So, if you don't mind, Chad. The rocks are now very hot. So I have a walkway now. Can you go on the other side? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> All right, go for it. All for the name of art, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look at it sparkle. Yeah. I did the middle here, and then Chad made a nice ring around it with a starfish that my dad found. <laughs> All right, time for lunch? Yes, time for lunch. We are now leaving the Black Sand Beach, and something about Black Sand Beaches in general is that they get really hot after a certain hour, so you can hardly walk on the sand without burning your feet. The other thing is that the sand here isn't really sand, it's kind of like these really small pebbles. So what we love is that it's really easy to brush off the towels and you can just be good to go and not get sand all over your car. It's always going to be a good day when we can park in the shade. My parents were so happy. <laughs> there you match the restaurant. I know, I do. <laughs> So at this restaurant, we have to go in to choose our fish so we know exactly what we're getting, how big it is, how much it costs. They're sleeping now. Oh, this is... Uh, <laughs> have red mullets mm -hmm. and red snappers. Okay. Ooh, so big wild groupers and scorpion fish. Sea yeah. bass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just picked out our fish and we will wait for it to come to our table. The last time we had ceviche, it was over in Peru. And so today we got some ceviche. Let's give it a taste. Honestly, just as good as Peru. I have no complaints, actually. What do we have here? I guess it's called carpaggio. <laughs> That's what the waiter just said. But I do believe it is thinly sliced tuna with some sort of olive oil sauce, and it's got these um, capers on top. So this is the fish that we chose out earlier. It's a white grouper and the server actually came to the table and asked if he could fillet it for us and we said no because we actually want to pick it apart ourselves. My mom is a professional at doing that so we're gonna let her take on the challenge. The role. <laughs> The next stop of the day is the city of Fira, and this is actually pretty centrally located on the island. So we've driven up. I think we're gonna go and find some gyros for Chad and my father because they have been craving them. Um, and then we're gonna do a little hike to, I think a church that has some bells. That's the shop right there. I do think this is um, Chad's like 12th or 13th Euro here. <laughs> we have been on a quest to find the three bells and I believe they're right around the corner. It's a very sunny afternoon. We're like sticking to the shadows as if the sun is some evil 
thing. Whew, but it is very bright. I am a rotisserie chicken. Joined with me is three more rotisserie chickens. <laughs> and we are almost to the bells. <laughs> These magical bells. <laughs> the dinner bell. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Are they everything you hoped and dreamed, Claire? They look exactly like how they looked in the picture, so... I think it was more about oh, the journey no. than the destination. Oh no, my sunglasses. <laughs> Here in Santorini, the island was actually formed by the largest volcanic eruption known to human history. And that is because it was recorded by the Minoans, which are a civilization that lived here. And I just can imagine, huge volcano. And that's why the beaches are black. And there's actually red beaches as well. Yeah, a little bit of history for you guys. We have made it to our little cyclotic home in the countryside and this place is actually centrally located on the island so we can kind of drive around wherever we want which is very very convenient. Yeah we decided not to book a place in the iconic area called Ia on the island because prices were about two to three times what you'll find on the rest of the island. Yeah. So we booked this Airbnb Plus which is a two bedroom, two bathroom with a private pool mm -hmm. and it's actually a lot quieter here mm -hmm. and we have a view of the mountain <laughs> and the ocean. We were originally going to just keep going exploring the island but we decided to chillax because it is hot and come back soak for a bit and then just wait it out until dinner time and then we'll continue the exploring tomorrow. Maybe we'll wake up a little bit earlier so that we avoid the heat. But no regrets, this is very nice. All right, I'm gonna go call my parents because they've been waiting for us to film. So now they can go come and cool down. <laughs> go get them, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna call me to go call them. Tonight for dinner, we're going to enjoy a belated Mother's Day dinner just because we haven't been able to celebrate it with my mom yet. But we're gonna go to this highly recommended restaurant here in the middle of the island. Apparently has some of the best Greek food. We went yesterday and got ourselves a reservation for 8.30 tonight. I'm pretty hungry. We just got a nice little complimentary drink as well as some bread and some cheeses. But this is Rocky. We've been getting a lot of this and basically it's 45% alcohol. You usually get it before meal or after meal. Looks like we're drinking it before. So we'll be real excited about the food later. <laughs> Cheers. The first thing of the evening is domas, and this is something we've actually eaten many times out of the can because it's just very affordable at the grocery store. But tonight we've got it homemade, and these are basically vine leaves that have been stuffed with herbed rice, and it looks like there's some tzatziki in the middle. It's like squeaky cheese. You can hear like the squeak in between my teeth. <laughs> we just got some mussels, some pork belly, and then we also got kata ifi. And this really reminds me of the kunafa that we had in Egypt and also in Turkey. But it's in the same family as the kunafa and also baklava. So you've got these like noodle looking hovering and inside there's apparently cheese and we've got some jam. Over in Turkey, we were eating lamb like almost every single day, but once we got to Greece, we switched over to gyros, and so we kind of forgot about the lamb. But tonight, we are having a lamb shank, and it looks like it might just fall off the bone. <laughs> Something we've noticed while dining around Greece is that they provide a lot of free drinks and a lot of free desserts. And so tonight we are having some homemade cheesecake on the house. Perfect note to end on. Chad just drove us down the hill, four minutes back to our Airbnb, and the meal altogether only costs 
just over 65 euros, which is yes. very affordable for four people. And it was mm -hmm. fine dining, amazing service. Yeah. We both highly recommend it. We're gonna sleep well, and we'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Night night. <laughs>or red sand beaches and white and pink sand beaches are more of your vibe you should definitely check out the island of crete we actually just came from there before we came to santorini we saw some of the most stunning beaches we've ever seen so if you are interested we did just make a video on the island of crete now we are going to head over to the most iconic most famous spot here in santorini we're gonna go and explore ia at sunset, which is a little bit courageous seeming that um, it's almost peak season and I know so many people are going to be fighting for that sunset spot. We did come a couple nights ago and I'll insert the shot, but it was very, very crazy. It's a little bit crowded. <laughs> no drone zone. That cat is looking at that cat is looking at some ghost beloved. Now that is some drama there. Dark cross love. <laughs>we finally walked farther away from the main area of Ia, not at the iconic sunset spot, but we have found another really nice area. It's a little bit quieter, and I'm sitting on a retaining wall, and we have a perfect view with less people. <laughs> So since we aren't big on shopping or spending a lot of money on a meal, <laughs> our favorite thing to do in Ia is actually just to walk around because it's kind of like a maze and you can look at all the setups that they have for the balconies and the patios and also the pools because almost every single place has a pool. I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. And just like that, we are more than halfway done with our time here in Greece. It has been flying by, seriously. But if you are interested in following along on all of our future adventures as we travel to 50 countries around the world, hit subscribe. And if you want to see behind the scenes exclusive content, then join us over on Patreon because that's where we post it. With that, we'll catch you guys next time on another island here in Greece. I gave her a lot of those stones. There's a plagiarist. Cite your sources, Claire.